I'm trying to get in tech. I'm trying to move up in tech. I'm trying to get out of that help desk role. I'm trying to get off them phones. Welcome to Debt Free in IT. I'm your host, Mike. This podcast is for anyone who's looking to get into the IT industry, whether it's for a career change or you're just interested, I think you come to the right place. So today's episode is my response to a listener's question. So this listener left a question under one of my videos as a comment, and they was asking, can they study for the CCNA certification and the Network Plus certification together? They gave an example like spending five hours a day studying for these certifications, and they wanted to know what's my opinion. So first of all, I advise against it. And in this episode, I'm going to give you some of my reasons to why I advise against it. But as always, I'm only one person. So if you're listening to this and you was able to successfully study for two certifications at the same time, please leave me a comment under this video and let me know how that process went for you and how what was your study plan and how you went about doing so. Because like I said, it's it doesn't work for me. I advise against it for anyone, especially if you're a beginner in the IT, you're just starting to get your feet wet. I I totally advise against it. But I do realize that we do have some people out here that are that's very unique and they're capable of doing so. So if you're one of those folks, let me know in the comments. So before we get into the reasons why I advise against studying for both of these certifications at the same time, I think it's beneficial for those that may be new to this certification or new to networking to understand what both of these certifications are. So the Cisco certification, uh, just like it's, it states in the name, it's a certification by Cisco. Uh, it's an associate level certification geared towards the networking aspect. So this certification prepares you for, I say, intermediate associate level networking concepts. So it goes over your router configurations, your switch configurations. It teaches you some technology such as routing protocols. Uh, I think the main one for CCNA is OSPF. It teaches you a lot of advanced routing concepts and a lot of advanced routing and switching technologies that you learn how to implement, you learn how to configure, and also it goes into a lot of theory too. But then when you look at the Network Plus certification, so this certification here is a CompTIA certification. So Anytime you hear the name CompTIA, first thing come to my mind is it's vendor neutral. So vendor neutral, meaning that this CompTIA or a lot of CompTIA certifications, they give you an understanding of that concept. So with this here, we're looking at the Network Plus. So the CompTIA is going to give you an understanding of networking in general. That way you can take it and apply that understanding to whether it's Cisco or whether it's another vendor. But they give you the an overall basic understanding of networking, which means that they're not going to go into showing you the basic configurations of a Cisco router. You know, they're not going to go into those aspects. So for that aspect, you're going to have to go to that Cisco certification. So, but with this, you will have that basic overall understanding of networking. So a lot of times if someone was going down a, a networking path, this may be one of the first certifications they try to uh, accomplish the network plus. And then from there, they move on to the CCNA. But like I said, the CCNA is going to be more advanced level, more associate level, uh, goes a little bit in deeper in, in depth than that Network Plus. Network Plus is going to give you that basic overall understanding. Uh, vendor neutral, which means that you can take the knowledge that you learn. It applies in, anywhere. Uh, also, even though the Cisco certification isn't vendor neutral, but a lot of times you can take the knowledge that you learn from that also and apply it elsewhere. You know, it's just that the configurations may be different from a Cisco device going to another device. Like one of my past episodes was on Juniper. So that basic network and understanding is still there. You're just applying the, the different or learning the way that this vendor has their OS. So both of these certifications, like I said, is good for networking. Uh, if I had to put one over the other, I would say the Cisco CCNA would be the top dog in this aspect where the Network Plus would be that entry level certification. Then hopefully from there you move on to that CCNA. So my first reason to not study for both of these certifications at the same time is that studying for these certifications at the same time is going to cause a lot of confusion. 
So if you think about it, most of these certifications have what we call exam blueprints, where you can go to this certification and see what topics you need to prepare for for this certification. So they have an exam blueprint laid out for you. It lets you know that, okay, the first thing you're going to is network architecture. You're going to learn this certain topic. You're going to learn this other certain topic. So each certification has that. So when you're planning to study for a certification, one of the first steps we always do, one of the first steps I recommend is to go ahead and print out those exam topics or that exam blueprint. So by you having two exam blueprints, it's going to make it real confusing because the first topic of the Network Plus, it goes over the OSI model. Now, the OSI model, remember, please do not throw sausage pizza away. You know, as long as you remember that concept, you can remember the OSI model. But the first topic of the Network Plus, it goes into that OSI model. And then the CCNA covers that OSI model also. But the first topic of the CCNA, it goes over some network components, then which is covered later on in the Network Plus. So you're going to get a lot of overlap because even with some of the topics being similar, the CCNA is usually going to go in more in depth on those topics. So if you're going by the exam blueprint, like I said, it's going to be real confusing because you're going to go through and say, okay, I'm studying this here for the Network Plus. And then when you change up and start studying this for the CCNA, it's almost like trying to learn two different languages at the same time. It's, it's going to be hard to do. So it's going to cause a lot of confusion. And I would also say that it's probably going to have you where you're just going in circles where, yeah, you're good. You're going to be spending a lot of time studying. Uh, you're going to be spending a lot of time maybe doing labs for the CCNA. But in overall, you may not be getting anywhere because you're learning it kind of out of out of order where if you just follow one, typically they're going kind of in an order where, OK, from a beginner, you're learning this topic here. You're learning about the network components. Then that starts adding on with the next couple of exam topics. So you're, you're learning in, in an order here where if you're hopping back and forth, you're going to be all out of order. So that's one of the things I think is going to cause confusion. So like I said, they have you you may be putting a lot of time in. You may be putting that work in. But when you lay down the gist of things. You may not be advancing anywhere. You know, you may be still lost at what you done been putting work in on because one topic is saying this and the other vendor is saying this. So even though both of them, the general goal is understanding networking, but you, you're going to have some different terminology in there that's going to confuse you. So my next reason to not study for both of these certifications at the same time is that you will you will cover more ground by studying one at a time. So. I would say focus on one certification, master that certification, pass that certification, then move on to the next. So that aspect would be if we're just talking about these two certifications, I would say if this if you're very new to anything IT, if you're very new to it, I would say go for that Network Plus first. Focus on that Network Plus. Come up with a study plan for that Network Plus, And then as you start tackling the, your study plan you start moving through those exam topics of the network plus and then you take the exam and pass it so now you can take that and move on to the next certification that way instead of going around in circles you know you have a, a plan laid out and you you got a goal and you can see the end of the finish line because when you're studying two of them it's hard to see the end of that finish line at the, at the end of the tunnel so when you got one you're able to come up with that plan and start attacking them. So you can focus on one, then move to the next. Now, some folks may say that I'm just going to jump directly to the CCNA, which that is possible. Uh, for me, I went directly to the CCNA. Uh, back then, I don't even think I even knew about the Network Plus. I might have heard of CompTIA, but the CCNA was the only thing on my mind. And that was because I was in the classes for the CCNA. So even though I didn't know nothing about, well, I knew about IT. I knew about PCs a little bit, but I didn't know nothing about the networking aspect. But by me being in those classes every day, Monday through Thursday or Monday through Friday, me being in those classes, and that's the only thing I'm learning is networking. And then on top of that, we had the equipment in the classes to where I can go and practice whatever we just learned. So I was able to handle that as my first certification. So I'm not saying it's impossible to just start with the CCNA, but 
if you're someone that if you're not in a class and this is totally new to you, I would I would I would say go for the network plus or even better than that. You got the CCST networking, which is an entry level cert by Cisco. So I would go for either one of them. Uh, I would say the network plus or that one. And then, like I said, as you start moving your way through it, like I said, you're going to build up on it. You're going to build confidence because once you go through that network plus and you pass it, you're going to move to the CCNA. And now some of that terminology that was formed before, you're going to have a little bit of understanding of that terminology. So you're not coming into the CCNA from ground zero. You're coming in from the CCNA. You're one step higher now because you got that networking plus, which is going to help you out. And then also by doing them one at a time, I would say that you'll achieve both of them faster than doing them both at the same time. Because when you're doing them both at the same time, like I said, you're spending a couple of hours over here, a couple of hours over there, a couple of hours over here, a couple of hours over there, which is going to take a long time to add up to when you complete both of them instead of just spending that. You said you stated that studying for five hours instead of spending that five hours on one topic or on one vendor certification. You can go on down that list real quick. If you're spending five hours a day, roughly, I would say. Probably in a, in a month or two, you'll probably be ready to test for the Network Plus. You'll probably be able to test before that if you're dedicating five hours a day, because five hours a day, that's 35 hours a week. So that's a lot of studying. You know, that's a lot of uh, that's that's hell of a, being hell of a consistent there. And then that's that's a lot of determination and ambition. So my hat goes off to you if you're able to study for five hours a day. It's not impossible. You know, I've heard of a lot of people studying for more hours than that. So it is possible, especially when you get that hunger. You know, you may have that hunger where, OK, your, your back may be against the wall and this is my way out. I know that this tech thing, I know that there's something on the other end of the tunnel. So a lot of times when you get that hunger in you, you will go past the limits of what you thought you can go on. So you, you can you can do that five hours because I know that, OK, I'm going towards this certain goal. I'm trying to get in tech. I'm trying to move up in tech. I'm trying to get out of that help desk role. I'm trying to get off them phones. So a lot of times something like that is what's going to fuel you. So if you could do five hours a day, I would say start with the Network Plus if you're a total beginner. If this is totally new to you, work your way through it because five hours a day, you're going to blow through that Network Plus in no time. And then once you get that, once you pass that Network Plus, get that certification, that's going to put that batter in your back. Now you can go ahead and move on to that CCNA and go ahead and conquer it and achieve it. Hold up. I hope you're enjoying this episode. But I wanted to let you know about my weekly newsletter called The Law Files. So this is a weekly newsletter to help you start your IT career with practical advice and tips powered by yours truly. So it launched the beginning of the, after the new year and it's packed with actionable advice, resources and insights to help kickstart your IT journey. The link is in the description as well as pinned in the comments. So don't miss out. Now back to the episode. So the next reason I have why you should not study for both of these certifications at the same time is that doing this could lead to you getting burnt out real easy. So you can easily get burnt out. So by doing five, by committing yourself to five hours a day, like I said, that's a big commitment, which could end up, in my opinion, leaving you overwhelmed, especially when you're doing five hours a day. but it's going to seem like you're not getting nowhere because that five hours a day is actually two, uh, two and a half hours on this certification, maybe two and a half hours on this other certification. So doing that in my eyes would be a big commitment by splitting that time up between the two certs. I would say it's better to spend that time on one, but if you do decide to split them up and do two of them, I, w- I can see where it starts to kind of have you feeling burnt out because you're basically going to be spending your gears. So you're going through, one topic on one, then you might end up going through something real similar on the other one to where it starts running in together. And it can be just a whole lot of confusion, a whole lot of it. it, In my eyes, I can't figure out no way that this, this works well. So like I said, there may be some out there that's able to achieve it. If you have, please let me know in the comments because I know it's possible, but it was very hard for someone like me to do it. And like I said, that's one reason I, I don't advise to it unless you're 
already an industry vet or something like that and you know you already you got your game plan you already know how to go about doing it that's that's possible but i could see that even the best of us will end up getting burnt out right, to wrap up this episode like i said you already know what's my advice on this topic so i advise to study for one certification then move on to the next one so and in, in your case it may be started studying the network plus and then moving on to the CCNA. You know, the, the one time that I tried to study for multiple certifications, I think it was the CCMP and maybe the Python certification. So with this certification, I went through, I created a study plan. I was like, okay, I'm going to study Mondays and Wednesdays for, for the CCMP. I'm going to study Tuesday and Thursdays for Python. You know, if I have some time on Friday, Saturday, I'm going to do some labs. I'm going to do some little Python uh equations or things like that to try to learn some python code uh it ended up to where i was putting in time but it felt like i wasn't getting anywhere you know which in all ended up to me failing the ccmp so i failed the ccmp and then after that i think i still python i didn't take that exam but if you ask me i still don't know no python so it ended up not leading me anywhere but only thing I got from that is wasted time. So that's when, and I don't even know what gave me the bright idea to try to do that. So it must have been something I seen on TV or something I seen somewhere that may gave me the bright idea that, oh, I could knock out both of them at the same time. Rude awakening. I, I couldn't knock it out. So like I said, so to, if you want to take my advice, I would say focus on one, then move to the other one. So that brings me to the end of this episode. Hopefully you found some value in this episode. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, you can follow me at Debt Free and IT. If you have any questions or comments, you can email me at debtfreeandit at gmail.com or you can visit me on my website, debtfreeandit with Mike.com. Other than that, I'll see you next week. Peace.